Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another garden project. So if I look like a hot mess, it's because I am. We have been working all day. We just finished a whole video where we planted this great myrtle tree, this dogwood tree, the roses, and the vitex, which yes, we've already planted. We had to take them out, put them back in as the giant magnolia tree came down. So told y'all we were going inside, gonna take a break for the rest of the day, but then mom convinced me we needed to lay out the rest of the little annuals and perennials for this garden bed. So I will put a link below, but if you saw the other side, the arbor garden bed over there, we planted all of the things that we took out of here. So super tunia vista bubble gum, some truffula pink proven winners gum frina, some really pretty yellow cone flowers, and then a host of other things. But now we are, we had the other half of those things for the other garden bed. Since we had to transplant everything for the magnolia tree to come down, we took everything out of the ground, immediately put it in the ground over there, and now we are going to plant all the things we had for the other side over here. So we're just trying to decide exactly where what mom wants things. So to start with, she has these three cone flowers and these get 18 to 20 inches tall. So she wants them kind of back in the back border. We're not hesitant sure on this placement yet. But that's kind of what we're figuring out. So then you've got how many of the super tunias? That's four. Four. Well, you have those ones over there that look a little rough too. Oh well, yeah. But so I don't know. So the Super Tunia Vista Bubblegum, if you haven't seen those over at my house, um, they get big, almost two to three feet wide per plant. Like, and these are struggling because they've been in their cans for what, like two months now? Yeah. So we will plant them, cut them back. They will reflush with blooms and be beautiful. But they are definitely okay. on the struggle bus right now. Okay. That good? Um, yeah, because I'm going to have a little path here. A little path back to where the cast iron stove is? Yeah, it kind of stove it. Right okay. in the middle. And then where do you want to put the gum frena? Um, let's see. We need to fill that hole. Yeah. That's dangerous. When the tree came down, it hit in a couple places and made new holes. So we've been tripping in them all day. Yep, off and off, off and off. You can tell I'm so dirty. Okay. round of plants. Mom also has some daylilies, some iris, some foxglove, things for next year that we'll put in. Um, some, uh, mums. some mums for fall. And of course, you know, over the next couple years, she'll continue to add other plants to this space. So we're not necessarily trying to go from zero to 800 in one day. Yeah. A garden is a long process to get exactly how you want it. Unless you're a millionaire, in which case, I guess you could just pay someone to come fill out the whole thing in a minute. We're not. That wouldn't be fun. And now it kind of defeats, defeats the fun. I mean, we can put, it sounds so much that I kind of hate to do it, but I don't know what else to do. Just put one, I mean, we can a ribbon that that way. Yeah, and then you can
surround the rose with gum cream. Surround the dog. Surround the dog. So that looks good. That's what I'll do. And I'll probably... You guys be talking to your dog. I'll probably go in and plant them tomorrow. But I think I'm going to cut the gum cream about 10 minutes. They're not going very well. Cut the today. It's up to you. So mom was saying that she's probably going to come out tomorrow morning before it gets super hot and plant all these things and water them in really good. We wanted to get them placed, but I think we're both done oh, for today. Perfect. So we will probably come show you what it looks like afterwards. Yep. Um, if you want to cut the gum in the back, I'd do it before you plant them. Yeah, it'd be easier. It'd be easier to plant them. I'd cut back the super tunias as well. Yeah. Because they're struggling. I'm gonna be a good It's starting to be mosquito time though, which means they are they're eating me. Alright, so I'm gonna go home and take like really long shower and then uh we will come back and show you what everything looks like once it's in the ground. Alright y'all, so mom got everything planted. The cone flowers. This one little super tunia is looking real sad, so we'll see. See how it does. Gumfrina should bounce back. Rose, even the Vitex. This is maybe two days later. A little water and a little shade. Those wilted leaves are looking much better, and I think it is still going to bloom for us again this season. But everything's looking really nice. It'll be even better once we get it top dressed with some compost and everything back here cleaned out. But as far as the supertunias, the gomfrina, and the coneflowers go, everything is in so different without that tree. I hope you guys liked it. Bye!